Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna go over tips on pre-ordering items from Target for this fall geek out. Now, this is based on my experience with getting a PS5, which was a nightmare. And hopefully, if you've been searching for one, you don't have to go through that. Now, the PS5 scenario was different, of course, because that was based on in-store stock and you could switch stores. Now, this is labeled for the fall geek out as a pre-order despite the fact that they do have items already in stores and some people have been buying them early because the street date is September 2nd, which is when you can pre-order or September 9th. However, despite the fact that some people have been able to walk into the store and buy those things early, what does it look like for the rest of us that don't wanna drive around to 10 different targets like I did on Saturday? Oops, <laughs> we sit down, Friday and we want to order these things ourselves, what is the best way to do this? And like a lot of things online, you may see bots jumping in and trying to pre-order these things ahead of you. So these tips will be potentially crucial to having a successful fall geek out with Target. One option is, of course, when the store opens on Friday, you can walk in there, look on the shelf and buy what's available. It might be like pre-ordering with NECA, where you will get your item that is made based on the demand. I don't think this is gonna be like PS5 where there's a limited number and you have to change your store locations and try to find one to pick up in store because again, it's labeled as a pre-order, not as a pickup. But these tips may be exactly what you need in order to have a happy Friday. Number one, create your target website account ahead of time. Do that now while you're watching this video, don't wait create your account and add any payment options. Credit cards, red card, but ideally PayPal is what you're gonna wanna check out with. Which leads me to step two, PayPal. Create your PayPal now. Create whatever you need as far as your account, your card information, bank account, connect all that stuff. Be ready to go before 9 a.m. or 8 a.m. on Friday. And the great thing about that is checking out with PayPal or even Apple Pay through Target's website is that you're gonna be switched to a different server, so you're gonna have less congestion, which means your order is more likely to go through. The next step is to use not only the Target app on your phone, but also have the website up. Be ready on a desktop if you have one or a laptop. Be ready there, have it on your phone, and potentially have it in your phone's browser. Be logged in in all three locations, so on your computer, in your browser, on your phone, and of course in the app on your phone. This way, if you have success on one of those areas where you're able to add the item to cart, you can check out wherever you want, which ideally will be probably the app on your phone. Now, this is the part where I'm not sure, like on the PS5, you could add it to your cart, but maybe you couldn't buy it and you could change your store location and then you'd be able to check out. But this is different, these are pre-orders, this might actually just get shipped to your house. In the case of the PS5, people found that the app was the best way to go. The app is just less likely to crash. But when you're in the app, you don't have a refresh button like you do in your browser, which you're able to do refreshes on Target, no problem, it's not gonna kick you out like it does with other companies. So three ways to refresh in the Target app Number one is to add one of those items to your favorites list. With the links that we see right now for these items, they're all just kind of placeholders or going to a not available page. So what you can do is on that morning, hopefully we'll have more information and more links. Obviously check the description of this video. Maybe we'll have some active links available ahead of time. If you can, search for those items in your search bar on Target add those to your favorites list. Searching for those items in your search bar is also another tip for refreshing the page. So you can search for those things, eventually they start to become your like most recent search history. So when you tap on the search bar, you're gonna get those items that you just looked for. Um, so you can always back away from the item if you're unable to pre-order it, back out, go to search and you'll see that listed item again. So you can click on it and get straight to that page. It's gonna be one of the fastest ways to go. Worst case scenario, close the app and then open it back up. But that takes time. So the ideal solution here is to either have it in your favorites or be able to search for the item quickly uh, while simultaneously checking the browser, potentially on your phone and definitely on a desktop computer while logged in to your account. If all of this goes well and you're successful and you've made an order, but maybe down the road you get a 
delayed order status in your email, check that stuff. If there's an approval for any delayed transactions, then approve it because otherwise your stuff will get canceled. And apparently this has been a thing with the um, Funko Pop. So hopefully these tips really can help you have a successful Friday on September 2nd and the 9th to get a hold of your NECA items, which as of right now seems to be all TMNT items and a lot of the animated stuff. I'm not sure that the Monster series is part of this or if they're just showing up in stores, but we have some items. Again, you can look in the description and see what we know is gonna be there and maybe we'll have some bonus items the day of. If you found this information helpful, please share it. Let your friends know how they can potentially have a very successful fall geek out. I always wanna say fall fest, it's not a fall fest. And if you like this channel and this content, you know, sharing is great, but of course the default like and subscribe is always, always appreciated. And are there any particular figures that you would like to see reviewed on this channel? I haven't done any yet, haven't created them yet, but I have some figures like these. So I'm looking to do some reviews on this channel. I mean, the name of it's uh, NECA Unboxed. I'm still working with how I want to do the reviews because I want to amp them up a little bit more and I got to do something. I got to stand out, right? But I'm loving doing this already. I'm in the community behind all of these figures on Reddit and hopefully we'll see you all out there in stores or online collecting everything you've wanted to get. And you're not a scalper. Don't be a scalper. If you're a scalper, disregard all of these tips. But thank you very much for sticking around and watching this episode video, but thank you. And uh, we'll see you next time.